Morning about dangerous snakes popping up all over the area. Good afternoon. I'm Rekha Mudarach. And I'm Lynn Cannon. This is a mess. We are talking about copperheads. They happen to be attracted to something that could be in your yard. Drew Caritas live in Memorial Park to explain what's going on. Drew? Hey there, Len. The thought of seeing one copperhead, probably enough to give many of you the chills. Imagine seeing 20 at one time. Now, this is a phenomenon being reported all over Southeast Texas, including right here at Memorial Park. And experts say it is something under the ground that is attracting this summertime surge of venomous snakes. There's no way there could be this many animals on this property. This is just insane. But when snake expert Christopher Swanson captured 33 copperheads in just two hours, his disbelief shifted into a passion to learn more. It's really sort of shocking. A shocking and nightly occurrence. Experts like Swanson are just beginning to study. Large numbers of copperheads being reported near the bases of oak trees between the hours of nine in the evening and midnight. We're not worried about the ones. We can always do the one and remove for people. Um, the stragglers do happen. This is 20 a night. You know, 20 a night is a big deal. Swanson believes the copperheads are on the hunt for cicada larvae that have spent all year under the soil near the roots of the oaks. And now each night the larvae are ready to dig their way to the surface, a time when the snakes appear to be congregating. I am concerned about them in the backyard at night. Um, we have a hot tub up on a raised deck and we've seen snakes in and out from under there. Leslie Cernasek is making sure her two young boys wear shoes when outdoors after dusk, a precaution Swanson believes everyone should take during the peak of this reptile phenomenon. If you are bit, don't cut, don't suck it, don't ice it, don't wrap it. Use a set of car keys and get to a hospital. And while copperheads are venomous, they are not known to be aggressive and deaths from copperhead bites are extremely rare. Swanson predicts that the surge in copperhead sightings will end in September when the cicada hatching season is over. Reka, Len, back to you guys. You mentioned 20 to 30 in one sitting sometimes. What are they doing with all the copperheads they find? Well, and Swanson tells me that all of the copperheads he finds are kept alive and then sent to anti-venom research facilities, but he says he's been sending so many out over the last month that many of the facilities he's been dealing with are at capacity. Oh, that's amazing. All right, Drew, thanks.